Hey golfers, Drew Mahold back here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, the master club fitter here at our Minnetonka Tour Van location. Um, today we're going to be looking at the TaylorMade P790s, uh, specifically the new 2019 version, and comparing them to the 2017 model. Uh, Thomas is going to hit some shots for us, and we're going to get some data from TrackMan. Uh, Thomas, initial thoughts, predictions, uh, what do you think is going to happen here? Yeah, so TaylorMade 2017 model was exceptionally good. I'm um, expecting the 2019 model to be just as good, if not a little bit better. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, let's go hit some shots, huh? Let's see what we can do here. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, let's get started here. You got the 2017 P790. Yep. I know you're going to hit a few of those and kind of bounce back and forth between the new and the old and see if we can uh, spot any differences. Sounds good. Yeah, that's uh, why don't I hit three or four with this one? Yeah. Hit the new one, hit three or four more with this one again, hit three or four more with the new P790 and oh, yeah. see if there's any kind of differences. So I got the Project X LZ 6.5. Okay. It's a shaft that I've been playing in my irons for a good two or three years now. So right. Standard length, the old P790. always forget how far these things go. Yeah, that's a seven iron that just carried 190 yards. And you kind of, I mean, I, yeah, I, kind I know of you like that draw ball right flight, bit. so yeah. that wasn't even hit the way you'd like it usually. Yeah. First swing. That's down a little more solid. Interesting. You can definitely hear the kind of the pop to that a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, Wonder it's definitely got like that clicky sound to yeah. it for sure. Yep. Be really interesting to see what the new one sounds like. There we go. That was good. Wow. <laughs> that was it pretty good. It's interesting that second one, I felt like the second one was hit fairly solid, but it did spin a little bit more. That's why it didn't go quite as far. Let's hit one more with this one. That's good. Yeah, that's about as straight as you can get. That's right nice there. and straight, high, straight. It's going to stop pretty quick, even though it doesn't have that as much spin as right. my irons. I hit it so solid. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I forget how well and how far how these far things those go. Because you're probably yep. not used to hitting, uh, you know, a seven iron carrying at 190, 200 yards. Yep. Um, now you, I believe you play two of these in your bag, right? The is it a two? So iron? I've played around with both the two iron and the three iron okay. um, as my driving iron. Okay. Um, so with the with you know through the, through the set like through the wedges, they would probably just be a little bit too bulky for my liking. Okay. Um, but they're, you know, pretty good clubs overall. I've, I, like I said, I play it as my driving iron, and it goes very far and very yeah. straight. So okay. I've taken my hybrid Something out of Something you my can bag. rely on off the tee, and, yep. um, you know, if you need to, you know, attack the, a par five and two from, I guess, I'm trying to guess what your numbers would be here, probably 250, 260, yep. something like that. You probably got a utility iron for that. Where yeah, it's it's honestly like kind of my 240 to 250 yeah. shot off off the tee. Yeah. Okay. Um, this driving iron, if I want it, I can probably get it to 260. Yeah. And it's and, you, and you're not the only professional to to use the P790 as yep. a utility. I know that's a good. Yeah, the UDI choice. is a pretty popular so, driving yeah. iron. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's whack the new one, huh? All right. What do you think? Just looking down at it right now. What's the difference? Honestly, it looks fairly similar. Uh, I would say, if anything, it's just in an ever so slightly smaller package okay. compared to the uh, 2017 model. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit less offset to it, which I kind of like. Yeah. I don't want to ever worry about it going too far left for me. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really, really good. I would say, if anything, just ever so slightly smaller package from yeah. kind of heel to toe. I'm talking very minimal. Yeah. On not I'm a whole really lot, just looking down at it. Not a whole right. lot. Obviously, the 27 model was so successful for TaylorMade. Yeah. I would be surprised if they're going to yeah. make amazing well, and I know changes. the one, one of the big changes as far as appearance is the sole is kind of got that shiny oh, yeah, it does. to it. Yep, very, very Whereas shiny on the, the, on the sole here. Yeah, the 2017 is yep. kind of more of a satin finish. But 
I like that. Yeah, I like that very shiny chrome look on the bottom there. Obviously, you can't see it at address, but. Right, at address, it doesn't really impact anything. <laughs> All right, let's hit the new one here. That was pretty nice. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty straight. <laughs> that is as straight a ball flight as you can get. <laughs> For me being a perfectionist, that I can't really, really fault. Yeah, it usually that you're one. trying to find something to complain yeah. about with these. And <laughs> so far. Yeah. And Taylor made claims that the face is about seven percent thinner. Okay. So that essentially is in search for possibly more ball speed. So it'll be interesting okay. to see data yeah. wise to see if there is any more ball speed associated with the twenty nineteen new model. That's sounding solid. Interesting. So, yeah. I mean, you're usually your ball flight with like a seven iron is a little bit of a draw, right? Yeah, this thing's flying very straight. You know, it's, like I said, it's very hard for me to kind of turn this thing over right now. That one felt that, like I hit that ever so slightly thin. Um, really? But it was still pretty good. Still really, really solid. That's a, that's a thin P790 That, that one felt iron. like it was yeah. just, just a little <laughs> you bit carried thin. carried it 192. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Felt good, too. Yeah, really straight. <laughs> Very straight. Straight, high, can't complain with that. All right, let's jump back to the old one. Let's hit a couple more with that one just yeah. to see if I'm not getting kind of warmed up. So now, I mean, obviously you play a set of irons that's probably more workable, but yep. what are you noticing distance-wise from, because you have a kind of a muscle back set now. Yep. What's the difference distance-wise between your seven iron and what you're getting out of? Both the new and the old uh, P790. Yeah, this, um, well, the last one carried 193 going 200. Yeah. Seven iron for me right now is carry about 178 to, to 180, <laughs> going about 185. So clearly that's, you yeah. know, 15 Obviously yards. Obviously, these are, you know, jacked yeah. up and loft just possibly a little bit by okay. about two okay. or three degrees compared to my MBs. I think 30.5 degrees is the loft on the seven iron. Oh, okay. With the 2017 and the 2019 okay, model. Okay. Um, so that does make, that's going to make a, a It does, but it's not like it's two club difference. Right. It's not like it's eight seeing degrees here. of I mean, loft there between that. So it's like if you're hitting a 200 yard shot with your regular set now, yep. what do you, what, you're not hitting a seven iron or maybe even it might be hitting five iron. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty much, yeah, my, about a club and a half difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, distance wise, this thing obviously delivers both the old and the new. It does, so yeah. far anyway. All right, let's hit three or four more with the old one here again. Yeah, I am definitely noticing um, that the newer one's yeah. just got a little shinier look. This is kind of kind of like that matte, okay, so you can definitely, matte um, finish right there. Yeah, and I mentioned for me the biggest thing I notice is heel to toe, just a little bit larger with the twenty seven model. And then just ever okay. so slightly bulkier. A little bit, top fit, 2017 top model? Yeah, little just a little, little bit thicker. thicker. Didn't think I missed it that one as much. But. That so felt really good. Yeah, that is well. That's your straightest shot, although. Yeah, oh, there's been that, a couple of straight shots. That's <laughs> saying something too, because look at all those bunched yep. right up near the center line there. Yep. All right, so one more with this one. That felt good too. Yeah, those last two are yeah. pretty high, pretty straight. If only golf was that easy, right? 
<laughs> so yeah, after playing, after hitting the new one a few times, you definitely notice the diff more differences looking down at the dress. More dress than anything, honestly, off the yeah. club face, it feels, they honestly feel very similar. It's got that, they both have that little clicky sound. Yeah, they you do. know, they are forged, but they're not like, it's not like my true like MB forged yeah. feel off the club face. Um, so they definitely probably feel due, solid. Yeah, that's probably due to the uh, like the hollow body. The hollow body, yeah. Construction to and it. And then the, like the speed foam probably de definitely yeah. helps a little bit there with that too. Mm -hmm. Sit so three more with the 2019 model. It looks really good though. That one was a little heavy, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. So that was heavy. Yeah. Interesting. Full speed drop, I mean, by a couple miles an hour from my highest full speed, but otherwise it was pretty consistent across the board. Mm -hmm. Nice and forgiving. Yeah, the forgiveness is also supposed to be kind of increased in the 2019 model because they yep. added some tungsten weighting lower in, you know, in the, the sole area, mm -hmm. uh, which should both, A, you know, improve forgiveness, but also kind of launch the ball a little bit higher for you. I think they said with having that tungsten a little bit lower, like those thin shots, for example, yeah. it's just still going to maintain the ball speed a little better. Okay. So not, not a loss of distance or... Which we saw, you know, you, you hit one thin, I think the last time you were hitting this yep. one. And all right, let's do one more of this one. That was a little heavy too. Yeah, that was probably my worst swing of the day right there. Which is interesting that it flew so straight, but I know for sure <laughs> that I definitely mishit that one. But yeah, so across the board, obviously I definitely noticed very forgiving, obviously both the 2017 yeah. and 2019 model. Mm -hmm. That, considering I hit that heavy, you know, I lost about 10 yards, Yeah, but it flew dead straight. We got some decent numbers here from both, yeah. obviously. Well, speaking of the numbers, yeah, why don't we dive in and just kind of take a quick look here. What I did want to do is maybe just take out like one, you know, one outlier per club here All just right. to kind of right tighten here. it up a little bit. So right. let's take that last shot that I hit out. And then let's take this one out here that I hit. And now, as you obviously can see, pretty similar with regards to numbers. But let's just see if anything has changed at all. Um, if we look across the board here, club speed 91.7, 91.5 miles an hour. New, I mean, basically right about the same. I would expect them to be the same. My golf swing hasn't changed yeah. at all. Same length golf club, same golf shaft. Um, what you will notice though with the new P790 is we did pick up about you know, 0.7 mile an hour. So there is a possib possibility yeah. for just a little bit of a gain right there. Um, but very, very similar. Smash factor was ever so slightly higher with the new P790 mm -hmm. than with the old P790. We're talking Pretty efficient smash factor right. numbers, 1.45, 1.44 with a 7-iron. Seven seven that's, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that's really impressive there. Um, yeah, so very, very good. Interesting that my bolt launched a little lower with the newer one. Um, that could be just because it might be possibly that one thin outlier yeah, that I had in there. Yeah, you did hit a thin there. one that, uh, I don't think you mentioned it having a thin one with the, with the 2017 model. Yep, yeah, so we didn't have really have a thin. That was probably one of these ones here. Um, if we look at carry and total distance, you know, I picked up a mile and a half, mile and, yeah, sorry, a one, yard, one and a half yards yeah. more with the new P790 with versus the old. I mean, across the board, very, very, very similar numbers. Mm -hmm. um, flew this in the air, 130, 126 feet in the air, so really, really good. I've got plenty of stopping power. Now, a lot of cust customers may, might mention the spin rate being a little on the lower side. I mean, that essentially is the easiest way to pick up a little bit of distance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But because my peak height, you know, is 
120 feet plus in the mm -hmm. air. My descent landing angle is coming in steeper, so I'm picking right. up distance gains, but still having yeah, plenty of stopping You're still going to be able to power. stop it on yeah, the green. Yeah, so the ball is still, still stopping within about seven to eight yards per club. Right. So that's plenty of stopping power. Yeah. So really, really good. Um, you'll notice dispersion almost on top of each other if you look <laughs> at the left screen here. Uh, I had obviously four really good swings with both the both yeah. the, you know we can see those kind of a pattern of four yellow dots, four white dots here, um, and then a couple of my slight miss hits. But when you're hitting a seven iron, right. two hundred yards, it's you know yeah. dispersion is not going to be perfect. The ball flight was so straight too, and I know you like to hit that draw, and maybe this isn't as workable as you know a, a muscle back blade or a true player's iron, where this is maybe in the player's distance category, but you're getting you know. 10 to 15 extra yards of distance, which can help in a lot of ways, hitting from five to seven iron yeah. um, from that distance can, can be a big help. Yeah, I definitely found it a little hard to try and work the ball, but it flew dead straight. So if oh, someone yeah. is looking to just hit it high, hit, pick up a little distance and yeah. have it fly dead straight, I think both, you know, obviously 27 model was such a success, the 2019 model is gonna be mm -hmm. even better. It's just gonna look ever so slightly sleeker looking down at it. Yeah. More of a kind of like a player's look on an iron, yeah. but gave basically very similar results. Yeah. So Taylor made for the win again with, with yeah. the, the oh, distance for the win again. iron, so really, really good. All right, Thomas, we hit, what was it, I think seven shots. You hit seven shots with each, each club, each yep. model. Um, you saw a little bit of differences both in look and feel and in the, the numbers. Um, initial takeaways um, and thoughts from what you saw today. Yeah, so differences between the 2017, 2019 model. You know, both of them kind of still have that little clicky feel to them. Both come off the club face really, really hot. Feel like, you know, they're going to go fairly, fairly far, which they did. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say the 2019 model for me kind of just heel to toe, just looked a little bit smaller package, ever so slightly thinner top line. Now, this isn't going to be like your blade thin, thin top line. It's got still a little bit kind of a little chunkiness to it. But it looked really, really good to look down at, just to the little slightly smaller package compared to the 2017 model. And, you know, we saw the distance numbers. We saw how straight the ball flight was. Um, it, what would you say is the typical player that would benefit the most from playing a full set of P790s in their bag? Yeah, so for a full set, you know, someone that's looking after trying to maybe hit the ball a little higher, pick up a little bit more distance, um, these clubs will spin just a little bit less. But we can sacrifice a little bit less spin because they do fly a little higher, and they usually look, come in the green and land a little softer. Um, so, yeah, I'd say... Typical player, maybe like kind of like your four to twelve handicap range. You know, Taylor made they have their um, they have the M series like the M5, M6. They're kind of more for towards your kind of you know a little bit more for giving club game improvement. And then the P series, so the players irons. These are the kind of the top end of the of the P7 of, with P790. Then you got your 760 and 730. You know, these are still designed to be relatively forgiving, but they're going to go super far. Yeah. yeah, we saw the distance numbers. These are, you know, that's 15 extra yards on your seven iron. Um, golfers out there, if you fall into that range, Thomas is talking about between that four and 12 handicap ish range, you want some more distance, you want a dead straight ball flight. Uh, the P790s, the 2019 version is going to be for you. Um, stop into a second swing store, speak to one of our store associates, or schedule a fitting uh, with a master fitter such as Thomas Campbell online and get fit for your P790 set today.